people who've been around for forever. Okay, so we got Wolf versus Game and Watch on Smashville. Uh, Jake should be really familiar with this matchup. I played Game and Watch so much back when I was good at this game. Nice. Yeah, but Zelma's just a really solid player. I'm not hating. I like. I go for all Game and Watches. And he got the breast color awareness. Yeah. Shout out to breast cancer awareness. Yeah. He's he's holding it down for all of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the interesting thing is that past a certain percent, like around now, Zoma isn't gonna be able to combo be comboed very much by Wolf. And as I say that, also yeah. he can get out of the spike with uh, meteor canceled up B. Oh yeah, he is he, he's a really good up B. Yeah, that's very true. That's what I love about Game and Watch. Yeah. That and like down down grab and to down tilt nine. Yeah, his uh his DI mix ups with various throws are very strong. Then he got the box. Yeah, I'm actually surprised that we're not seeing some of that bucket to absorb the projectiles, but I don't really know how good that is. Wow. Um, bucket in this game is really only good if it's at three. Mm. At one, it's okay for keeping them away, but... Yeah. Ah, parry. That it works all the time. Yeah, that huge hitbox. You gotta love this man. Yeah. I don't really know the exact percents at which uh, Jake start stops um, being able to hit confirm, but... I would imagine that it's a lot lower than some other character. Ooh, ooh, that down smash. I think he covered both op or all three options for attack roll there. Yeah. It's really made smart him, stuff. Made him slide. I like it when people use up tilt as well. I like to use that a lot more than I should. That's a beautiful move, actually. Yeah. Up airs for days. Wolf is uh, the best off our character. I'm definitely a fan of him in PM. I don't know about like, like MLG Pro best in the game best, but he's definitely just a cool character. Yeah. Can Game and Watch duck under both lasers? Yeah. Okay. He can duck under a lot, a lot of actual projectiles. Like yeah, I know. He can do these boxing tacos and. I just know that since Wolf can do the wavelength laser, that he might be able to have them low enough over where they will, where they will hit Game and Watch. Oh, he went too deep. Oh, he got that good. See, my rule when playing this game is never go deep unless you know you can kill. Yeah. Like that's like the exact opposite of what I do. I go deep all the time. And yeah. actually, one of my friends who's super, super actually good at this game said that he likes the way that I do things like that because a lot of players, when they're down and, you know, feeling a little bit scared, yeah. they'll start to do really predictable things, and I'll do the exact opposite. Like, the more down I am, I'll just go crazy and, and do really silly things. Like jump out there with Wolf and try to catch Firefox with um with Shine and like Shine dare him or something. It worked once, so obviously it's the best thing to do at all times. <laughs> wow, just that like was that, a really Jake convincing victory from Jake. He's not. Jake's taking it. Mm -hmm. Jake's gonna take this tournament. I'm yeah. I'm Jake this, looking like Samson. It's because his hair is advised. longer, dude. He's more powerful because his hair is longer. Yo, I remember when he when he had really long hair, and then he like mm -hmm. cut it off. We couldn't recognize him. You're like, who Shout is out this to child? the Old Testament, <laughs> Samson. Good old fashioned Samson. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I'm surprised Wolf didn't ban Lilat. He oh, we're seeing the character switch. Spacey and battle. And just, well, why do you get the melee color? Come on, we're playing. I think Project he plays Fox in melee, so that's why. We're playing. So the biggest difference between these two characters, I think, is the fact that both rely pretty heavily on Shine, but Fox's Shine is not crouch cancelable, like Wolf's is, which actually makes it a, a significantly worse move, especially against characters with good crouch cancels. It's what makes the, the Wolf-Roy matchup so difficult for me personally, because my little brother doesn't have a lot of tech skill, but he knows how to, crouch, how to crouch cancel. That's how I was when I first started. I figured out how to crouch cancel, couldn't figure out anything else. It took me forever to figure out L canceling and all that. And then Lucas came into the picture. Well, the first tech I learned was jump cancel grab, and that like overnight made my Marth a lot better. Yeah. It looks like this is a whole different ball game now. Did Fox actually win this back up? Yeah, it's it's a bit more difficult for Wolf because Fox has the better shine, and I think Wolf has the better side B, but that doesn't really matter so much because it's actually hard to combo. Fox into side B because he falls so fast. Makes it. Hey, that's what I'm looking for. We take yeah. those. 
We do take those. I mean, this is a tournament for real money. Yeah, we play in the wave. We ain't playing for nothing else. Yeah, as opposed to Monopoly money. Just saying. Mm -hmm. Smash bucks. Yeah, I, I think that uh, Fox wins this matchup simply because, you know, while Fox doesn't have a projectile with hit stun, yeah. I, he can really just nair through Wolf's lasers. True. And just get back to stage Let's normally, see. but. Let's see. He ain't going against the normal Wolf. He's going against Jake's Wolf. Yeah. He brought it two stocks back, and I was in the lead. Granted, don't. Ah! I was yeah. just about to say, don't up get hit by up Fox's smash. up smash. While I do think that player skill matters a lot more, but yeah. th this game is very matchup dependent. This game might be, you know, the Smash game where who's top tier in this game? Top tier? Or I, I mean, Fox is arguably the best character in the game. I think Ike is top tier. Of course, Ike is top tier. This man can move like he's Sonic. Falco, I don't know. Fa uh, Fox and yeah, Fox is like top or high tier in every game. Same thing with Pikachu. I think that's it. Captain Falcon, if you forget, for all exists. <laughs> yeah. yeah, see, the thing that Fox also has against Wolf is Fox has jab up smash. Wolf doesn't really have that sort of thing. Yeah. Oh, we do have those. We do. That's pretty solid DI from Jake. Alright, now Jake just has to get his foot back on. back here. Yeah. I don't know how the uh, their two up B distances. I think it's the same distance, right? I think I Fox, just, don't Fox just takes a, a little longer to charge up. Yeah, like I said, Wolf has a tough time in this matchup because Fox falls so fast, so you can't do any like back throw to um, to side B combos. Yeah. Not a lot of stuff combos into side B. You okay. just gotta catch him with it. Yeah. But it's always so satisfying. All right, do. that was a solid down smash. All right, Jake, run it back. All right, this is Zoma's. Well. Winner's bracket stock, I think. Winner bracket? What? Is it? Not Cindy yet. Yeah, I'll have to check Shalon, but. Ah, he okay. Messed Ooh, up. the oh. up smash with the wonky angle, and that'll do it. Alright, so. But, what I think we got Jake, a game three on our hands. What I think Jake should do is switch the Ike, or. He has an Ike? Yeah, he has a really good Ike. Yeah. Oh, no, don't, don't stick with Wolf. Well, you ban stages before you choose characters, I think. But I'm not sure. Like I said, I'll have to check the rules. But yeah, the counterpick game in this game is really strong because not every well, there's not a single character that doesn't have like a bad matchup. I don't think Fox has any unwinnable matchups, but some matchups like are kind of tough for him, like Ike. Yeah, but like Jake is a really good Ike, mm -hmm. so I think he should switch to him. Yeah, and try his best to go in. Yeah, he did bring that last game to uh, to last stock though, so he might just stick with Wolf so that he doesn't have to change it up like his game plan, what he's doing. It takes a little bit of mental gymnastics to switch characters on the fly like that, especially because I don't think we allow mid set button checks. Oh, hey, he's all right, all right. He's, he's doing it. Okay, he understood. He understood. All right, this actually might be a good stage for Ike. I don't know. I still don't like it because I still have the Marth habits. All right. Yeah, the thing that Fox needs to do in this matchup is stuff quick draw approaches. And also not get grabbed. <laughs> Ike has really nasty chain grabs on spaces. Uh, which Ike I have yet to master, but they exist. I've seen them. Ike has chain grabs on everything. Uh, that was a actually really awesome spot dodge. I count I think the counter was a nice option to play differently, but poorly. Yeah, I don't know about counter in this matchup, honestly. But Zoma's ahead by almost a full stock. And really, the thing that Fox also needs to do in this right, matchup Fox is... Fox is dead. Cool. Yeah. The grab combos? Oh, my gosh! I told you Fox was dead. Whoa! If he gets grabbed, he's dead. It's over. All right. I need to learn how to do things like this. Shoutouts to the stream for having an right, archive. Fox is dead. <laughs> Wait, seriously? Fox is dead. What? See? Fox is dead. Oh, uh, 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 wait, uh. Okay, Fox is he not got, dead, got, but Fox got, got 68% off If he didn't get, if he didn't get to the ledge, he would have died. Yeah. He can actually keep doing that. We, me and him, like, practice this. He can just keep going if there's nothing for him to grab out of. If Jake doesn't wow. Up. That's kind of unreal. Yeah. And then he's being nerfed. I don't think so, but what do I know? 
Yeah. Probably no you can stop Quick me. Draw with, uh, with Nair. And the one thing I think that Fox has over Ike in this matchup, Wall Jones. <sighs> wall Jones. Not that, they're, but... They're so beautiful. Yeah. When Fox gets that shield pressure going, there's not a lot, a lot Ike can do. Ike doesn't have very good out of shield options. No, he doesn't. He yeah, has wave dash is, and grab, and that's it. His jump is kind of wonky, too, so mm -hmm. he can't really jump out of it. Try so Zoma is needs one hit. There he goes. Oh man. Is that a reverse bear? Yeah. Swag. Kills. I love All using right. reverse bear. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. No, stop counting. Yeah. How did that work out for him? That is a dead fox. It is. What? Ah, this is what I'm talking that about. That was this the man strangest thing. Okay. All right. Come I'm on. taking notes. No, stop countering. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I, I question the counter. Yeah, he's playing like me now, Jamar. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he is ahead by a stock, but this is still game three, so yeah. anything can happen. Um, and I still not think Zoma probably knows. Hey, grabbing equals death. I'm not yeah. getting grabbed. I, I, it feels, I feels like he's learned that. It took me forever to realize that. I was, I was like, get the yeah. If Zoma starts applying right, appropriate shield prep, oh man, never mind. That was wow. Jake, uh, Jake understood. Ike, Ike, Ike wins there. Hashtag just Ike. Thing. <sighs> this is what I'm talking about. That yeah, was an impressive showing from both players. That was really down to the wire. And it really illustrates.